Right now I'm slicing up some super thin potatoes. I saw this method on TikTok actually. There's this mom and she uses a mandolin or mandela. I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's where you can like slice the potatoes super, super thin. I don't have one of those, so I'm just using this knife and trying to slice these potatoes super thin. And it's gonna essentially make like a little chip. So I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil over these, add some sea salt and throw in the oven and let it crisp up a little bit. I'm also gonna be making some hamburgers for lunch. So I have to put together some patties, start the grill, but that's what's gonna be for lunch today.
So we just finished up with lunch. I just finished dishes. I also did some chicken chores. I always forget to bring the camera to show you guys the chicken chores, but I picked up some eggs that they had in the coop. And then I also gave them some scraps from lunch today, but I'm gonna go show you guys because I just filled up their water. So they have fresh, clean water. And I also filled up their food because they were all out. So they're going crazy for it in there. It is muddy season for Skeeter. He is soaked and dirty at all hours of the day. But you can see in here, the chickens are going crazy for food. <coughs> they have potato scraps and lettuce scraps over there. Some tomatoes. So many of you guys comment about our nesting boxes and how they don't have any straw. We try to put straw in there, but they kick it out all the time. So we just we just don't even put anything in there but if you guys have any ideas or any tips on how we can keep straw in there or pine shavings or something without them kicking it out let me know because it helps prevent all the eggs from cracking so yeah i just filled up their water and their food and i'm done with chicken chores my sourdough is ready to bake with so i'm gonna make a loaf i'm gonna do a sandwich loaf for dinner tonight so I'm gonna get some stuff going here. I'm not gonna film this whole time because the generator's going on in the background and it's kind of loud and noisy. But I am gonna make some bread. Oh my gosh, this starter is stunning. I love when it gets all spider webby. My dough is all kneaded and ready to cover. I'm gonna cover and let it rise for an hour. 
I had made some bread dough covers. Unfortunately, I haven't made any for myself for this size bowl, but I wanted to show you guys. I have these cute bread dough covers that I had made. Just a cute little pattern. I also have this blue floral one. Super cute. And then I also have this one that I really, really like. I love just like how feminine it looks. Um, so I don't have these on like a site or anything, but if you guys are interested and you want some bread dough covers for your sourdough or for anything that you're baking or cooking or whatever, just send me a message or comment below. Um, actually, I prefer if you guys message me on Instagram. My Instagram is at Sierra Meyerberg. If you guys message me on there, let me know what you are wanting. If you're wanting a couple of covers and I can send some to you guys for a price. Again, I'm not really sure like how much I'm selling it for and all that yet, but if you're interested and you want a cover, let me know.
Okay, so this is what I came up with, but I'm gonna go and put these eggs on the corner because we just have way too many eggs and we, even if we ate the most eggs every morning, we still would have a ton. So I have about five dozen in here. And then a little slot or a little Kleenex bin for money. Um, but yeah, this is a temporary sign. I had some fabric from um, making sourdough covers and then <laughs> paper plates but again this is temporary but I want to get these eggs out there because they're just sitting inside and I'd rather them get used than go to waste okay I just made a pizza bagel sandwich for myself I have some cottage cheese on the side I just made Kyle two of them and brought them out to him because he's working on the log house but I have cottage cheese with a little pepper on top and then then <laughs> and then my pizza bagel is pepperoni, ham, onions, provolone cheese, and then pizza sauce. So I'm gonna eat this lunch and watch a little bit of YouTube. Also, I can show you guys one of my bread dough covers. I have it on the little um, loaf pan, bread pan thingy. I have one rising right now. We made one yesterday that you guys saw me make, and it was so, so delicious. I made it for dinner. I didn't show you guys the loaf, so I will make sure to show you guys this one when it is all finished. But it was so delicious and this loaf recipe is so so easy so if you guys have any sourdough discard available i really 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 recommend making this it takes like three and a half hours total with bake time and rise time here is the loaf of bread all ready we already dug in and had a slice of bread with butter and it was so good it's always the best slicing it up when it's nice and warm but there it is